With the tough economy, a lot of folks are having to choose between health care and other everyday expenses. Yeah, and it's definitely a source of concern for medical providers, especially those in the dental field. Petrania Poonswan is live at a dental clinic in the southwest with that story. Petrania? Hey, good morning, Dana. You know, when you grow up, you're taught to brush, to floss, you know, go to the dentist every six months. But when you grow up, you know, you face these tough financial realities and you have to make tough choices. Do you buy groceries or go to the doctor or to the dentist, especially with dental care? You know, if you're not in pain, you don't usually come to, you try to, you know, put it off for a year or two and then it becomes three or four or five years and that's when you get into deep trouble. And that's why we're focusing on this issue today with Dr. Joe Willison joining me very early this morning. Usually you don't get up this early, so thank you so much for joining us but this is an important issue and you're seeing that problem out there right with the economy coming down and people kind of stop coming yeah we do you know uh, actually right now we're seeing patients coming in saying we haven't been to the dentist for four or five years mm -hmm. the problem with that is that is that we're finding those problems are just building up it's almost like water behind the dam so you can only put it off so long before it becomes a major issue so what is the you know I mean when they put it a long time and they end up spending a lot more money is that what you're finding yes because a lot of times we can fix a simple problem relatively inexpensively but the longer we wait it just gets more and more uh, difficult to fix and more and more procedures become involved so the longer you wait the more expensive it gets so what are the major issues out there when it comes to your teeth that you're seeing especially when people wait a long time uh, we see well one major thing is periodontal disease mm -hmm. if people aren't getting their cleanings then uh, periodontal disease starts to set in and that's a major problem because it's not something we can reverse right. we can stop it we can't we can't fix it all the way so periodontal disease and tooth decay uh, those are some of the major things that, that we start to see right off. All right, well, Dr. Joe is going to be with us all morning. We'll talk more about insurance. If you have insurance or low burst insurance, what are the options that are out there? We'll ask him that later on in the hour. For now, I'll send it back to you, David Dana. Okay, thanks, Petronia. Got to get those checkups. I go every six months. <laughs> well, with the tough economy, many people are now having to choose between putting food on the table or maybe, you know, uh, going to the doctor, getting some dental work done. Definitely a source of concern for medical providers, especially those in the dental field. Yeah. Petronia Poonswan is live at True Dentistry in the southwest part of the valley with the story. Petrania? That's right. Good morning, Dave. You know, growing up, we're all taught to brush, floss, going to the dentist every six months. But as we become adults, a lot of people face these tough financial realities. And sometimes they put going to the dentist in the back burner. And medical professionals say that is a bad idea. You will end up paying a lot more in the long run. So this morning, I'm joined by Dr. Joe Willitson of True Dentistry. And he's been around for many years. And, you know, getting to know all the patients. You said in the past couple of years, especially with the economy going down, people are really having a tough time and making some tough decisions, right? Right. They are, and I think with these decisions, if the patient can educate themselves, mm -hmm. they find themselves in a much better position. With dentistry today, there's a lot of different options. So some things are more long-term, some things are not. So if an option is to kind of get you by until things get better, right. that's a good way to go. So educate yourself, ask the doctor the right questions. Sometimes there's different financing options. Mm -hmm. uh, find out, ask your daughter, doctor if you're on their insurance. So there's a lot of things that the patient can do before even visiting the doctor, they'll get them ready for their next dental visit. Right, and I think insurance is a big question for a lot of people because sometimes they don't get enough in terms of dental insurance, so they don't have insurance at all. But you said there are options out there, and they should kind of focus on the, the key things, right, the dental checkups, and coming to those every year, and that will help save you in the long run. Absolutely. Doing regular cleanings and uh, preventative maintenance is probably the best thing that you can do, especially when things are tight. Yeah, and so, and you said, you know, we're talking about dental schools out there, which we'll talk in the next half hour, but you're also sending a, a lot of patients out there as well. Yeah, you know, the dental school is a great option because sometimes this pa the patient might not fit in our particular office mm -hmm. or sometimes they don't fit in the dental school. So, you know, between our office and the dental school, we kind of go back and forth quite a bit. All right, a lot of options out there for sure. A lot of patients love you, so that's great. So we'll talk more about that option and what low-cost options out there for people out here in this area that's coming up at 6.30. David Dana, I'll send it back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Petronia. Got to get that work done.